Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, here to show you my top five players to use online or just an exhibition against your friends, anything like that, or even in your dynasty if some players transfer in. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best players in terms of speed, athleticism, just players in general, it's not for specific positions, but let's get into it. The first player here is Taylon Green. He's only an 81 overall here, but he's a scrambler archetype. His physical is magician, mobile resistance, option king, extender, off platform. That option king, make sure you use that in the Auburn playbook. It is extremely overpowered. His ratings here, 91 power. He has 94 throw power, only 69 trucking here, but his elusiveness, 86 agility, 92 break sack, 93 juke move, 85 spin move. Accuracy is pretty solid down the field as well. Not really too much of deep accuracy, but you can do short routes with him, a bunch of read options with his quickness. He has 91 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 stamina. He will be sick if you can somehow transfer him in for a junior or something like that. If they did want to transfer, I don't know how that would exactly work in Dynasty, but in exhibition, he is amazing as well. Next on the list is going to be Barian Brown here. He's a four-star high school recruit. He is a junior here. He has a really good physical ability set here. I mean, Shifty isn't exactly there. Do you have to unlock this? I mean, he doesn't exactly have it, but he almost has it. He almost has it there, but his route running abilities are really good. His hands are pretty solid, especially on the spectacular catch, but his elusiveness is what we're looking at here. The change of direction, 91, jumping, 94, agility, 93. It's not as good as other guys maybe, but either way, he is really broken, especially on his spin move here. It says only 82, but whenever I'm playing with him, it feels like a 99. IQ awareness, 85, ball carrier vision, 91. His quickness though, 98 speed, 99 acceleration. Trust me, the juke move, the spin move is crazy with him as well. His kick return is a 98. This dude is an all-around player. Put this man on jet sweeps every play or put him on some type of read option or toss. You're, you're getting a touchdown almost every time. This dude is absolutely broken. And if you do have him in Dynasty, you can, of course, upgrade these with the shifty direction. Once he unlocks that ability, he will be even more crazy than he already is. Barry and Brown at number four. And I'm sure this comes to a surprise to absolutely nobody. Jalen Milrow out of Alabama. Some of the best physical abilities in the entire game, rating wise. Elusiveness, 97 break sack, 91 agility, 89 change of direction, 88 juke move, 91 spin move. Accuracy is great too, other than his medium, only at a 79. But still, either you can throw it on the run, which you're most likely going to roll out of the pocket and do every play, bomb it down the field, throw under pressure. It isn't that good, but it doesn't matter because he's fast, so he can just run away from the pressure, and he has 95 throw on the run. In a short accuracy, if you can't find anything downfield, you can just check it down. Power-wise, 96 throw power with his 91 deep throw accuracy, so that combines really well. 89 jumping if you want to hurdle some guys. 92 awareness, 85 play action. Injuries a 92. Toughness is a 97. Stamina is a 93, so you can last a long time with him. 91 speed, 93 acceleration, 93 stamina. Absolutely cracked in any game that you play him with. So it's going to be really hard to stop this guy. Comes to a surprise to nobody especially with his physical abilities, he's going to be the number three. Next on the list is going to be running back out of Oklahoma, Gavin Sawchuck here. His physical abilities are really nice here. Doesn't have the shifty, but he has the 360, so it improves his juke moves. But he has 94 agility, 92 change direction, 90 juke move, 80 spin move. Hands aren't crazy. Route running isn't crazy either, but his power is pretty solid, especially with his 91 jumping, 67 strength here. But his quickness, 98 speed, 97 acceleration, 87 stamina, 96 kick return. Put this dude in wildcat formation or just constantly run read options or pitches with him he's crazy as well so with that 98 speed is it 98 speed it was yeah 98 speed 97 acceleration running jet sweeps or some type of wildcat formation with this guy is going to be nuts now for this one you're going to have to go to south carolina he's not the top receiver on his chart but it's going to be nick harbor here a weird way to spell nick but he is six foot five 242. He's going to win any, any physical matchup that you have on him. He has a layout ability and a takeoff ability as well with his route running being solid, but his quickness. How are you 6'5", 
242 with 99 speed and 99 acceleration. That is absolutely broken. He's going to win any any line off the line, and then he also has any of the quickness to get off the line, run away, physical abilities. He has layout, so even if he doesn't get there in time, which I don't know how he wouldn't because he has 99 speed and 99 acceleration, he also has the takeoff, which is quicker release off the line when not pressed. So either way, even if he's pressed, it doesn't matter. His elusiveness as well, 87 change direction, 98 jumping at 6'5", 242. It's absolutely crazy. His power is good too with his stiff arming, his trucking. He can do it all. He is absolutely broken. He is the number one guy. If he had a higher overall, that would be better. But 99 speed, 99 acceleration at being 6'5", it really doesn't get much better than this for a receiver. And I know this is a top five list, but I'm putting Travis Hunter in a class of his own just because he's not number one on this list. He's number zero on the list. He's, of course, a five-star recruit out of high school. He's amazing for Colorado. Cover athlete. All of his physicals are absolutely crazy. He's a 95 overall on everything. And even though he may not have the 99 speed, 99 acceleration, I never see this dude lose a one-on-one. -on -one. He goes up and gets it. He's not 6'5". He's 6'1", 185. Unlike Nick Harbour, he's shorter. He weighs less. He's slower. But his physical abilities completely outweigh all of that. I've never seen this dude lose a one-on-one -on -one jump for it battle in any type of college football game. It is crazy how good he is. He is programmed to be amazing. His catching is 97. Spec catch is 97. Deep route is amazing as well. So, of course, being a 95 overall, you'd expect him to be really good. The other guys are a lot lower overalls other than Jalen Milrow who's a 91 the other guys were below 90s but Travis Hunter here he's just in a class of his own just because of his physical abilities of course 95 speed 96 acceleration 99 stamina is amazing as well here the elusiveness is off the charts the hands are really good but again it's all about the physicals here it is nuts He's in a class of his own. Those are my top five, top six players for the offense. If you want to see the defense, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy this video, do find this helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any other broken players that you guys want me to review. I would appreciate that. But anyways, guys, apart from that, I'll see you guys all in the next one.